Hi everyone, I'm Raymond Francis, and today I want to clarify some things about vitamin E and cancer. There's an enormous amount of confusion out there as to whether or not vitamin E protects against cancer or whether it can cause cancer. So the question of whether or not vitamin E can prevent cancer is a hotly debated subject among researchers. And studies have achieved varying results. But the scientists at the Center for Cancer Prevention Research at Rutgers and at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey think that vitamin E contributes to cancer. No, it doesn't, yeah. All right, let's start over again. Okay. Um, yeah. Take that from the top. Did you need that change at all there, or are you okay with it? No, let's, let's just start. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. And three, two. Hi everyone, I'm Raymond Francis, and today I want to talk about vitamin E. Does it protect you against cancer, or does it help to cause cancer? The question of whether or not vitamin E can prevent cancer is hotly debated among researchers, and studies have got varying results. Uh, for example, scientists at the Center for Cancer Prevention and Research at Rutgers and at the Cancer Institute of New Jersey think that vitamin E does help to prevent cancer so long as it comes from your diet. So they say it's okay from your diet, but don't take supplements. Well, why? Well, I'll tell you something. The supplements are usually the wrong form of vitamin E, and they don't prevent cancer. So these researchers urge a diet rich in vitamin E. Well, here's the problem. It's difficult to get what you need from your diet today. So supplementation is absolutely necessary, but you have to find the right supplements. Now, there are studies suggesting that vitamin E actually increases the risk of cancer and decreases bone density. In other words, give you osteoporosis. The problem with these studies is they all use the wrong forms of vitamin E. There are many different forms of vitamin E, and the most common form of vitamin E used in these studies is synthetic alpha tocopherol. However, to prevent cancer, it's the natural gamma and delta tocopherols that have been found to be beneficial in preventing cancers, not the alpha, yet it's the alpha that they use in the studies. The action is different in each form of vitamin E, which is why some studies find that vitamin E prevents cancer and other, other studies find it increases the risk. A recent clinical trial in the United States and Canada found that alpha tocopherol, and here again, the most common form used in the supplements, uh, not only failed to prevent prostate cancer in healthy men, but significantly increased the risk. Now, this problem of the correct form applies not only to vitamin E, but to other vitamins as well. And this is why so many vitamin products are virtually useless and a waste of money. They contain the wrong forms of the vitamins. So where does this leave you? Well, we all need to take vitamin supplements because we can't get what we need from our diet anymore. So how do you find the right ones? Well, this is exactly why I founded Beyond Health International. As a chemist, I research which are the best forms, the ones with the highest biological activity, the ones that provide you with the best value for your dollar. Then Beyond Health supplies these high quality, high value products to you to help you get well and stay well. Thank you for listening.